1.3c, Exponents in Order of Operations. Order of Operations. When we solve a problem, many times there are many operations, which are known as add, subtract, multiply, and divide, that we sometimes are not sure which to do first. Therefore, an order of doing these operations was developed. Here I will first show you why we need the order. If in the first example I add first, whereas in the second example I'm going to multiply first. In this first one, I will then get 5 times 4, and in the second one, I will get 2 plus 12. Next, I will multiply in the first one, giving me 20, and add in the second one, giving me 14. As you can see, these two answers are not the same, which means one of them is incorrect. We therefore will develop an order to decide which of these is incorrect. The order can be remembered by the saying, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Some people also like to remember it as the word PEMDAS if you were to write it out. Remember that you need to be writing this vertically so that you remember which step comes first. The P stands for inside parentheses, which means you must do any operations that occur within a parentheses. As you can see in the example above, there are no operations, or add, subtract, multiply, divide, inside the parentheses. The second step is E, and E stands for exponents. There are also no exponents in the example above. The third step is to multiply or divide. These two are included on the same line, as you do not multiply before dividing. Instead, you work from left to right, which means if a divide is further left than a multiply, you must complete it first. The final step is to do all add and subtract. The same applies to add and subtract. You must also move from left to right. Now using these steps, we can look above and see that we were supposed to multiply before doing any addition. Because of this fact, the first is incorrect. As you can tell, we added before we multiplied. Instead, you must always multiply before adding and subtracting. This shows the importance of using the order of operations. In example one, we will be using the order of operations to help us decide which portion to start first. Sometimes it is helpful to write PEMDAS down the side of your page to ensure that you do all steps in order. Remember, the P means to do what's inside of the parentheses. As you can see, we do have something inside of parentheses, so we must complete it first. We start by doing 4 minus 7, which results in a negative 3. Because we have not actually used the parentheses, we must carry them down. All we have done is assessed the combination of the numbers within the parentheses. We also bring down the rest of the problem. Next, we see that we have completed parentheses, so we move on to exponents. We can see that we have exponents of 2 to the third. Sometimes it is helpful to go over to the side and figure out what the exponent would be. In this case, it is 2 repeated three times, which results in the answer of 8. We now have 8 plus 5 times a negative 3. We have now completed the exponent step. 
The next step is to do multiply and divide. We look in the problem and we see that there are parentheses. Remember, sometimes parentheses mean multiplication. The way to ensure that it does is that there is no symbol between the number and the parentheses. This, therefore, is saying a positive 5 times a negative 3. Positive 5 times negative 3 is a negative 15. We then bring down the 8, which has yet to be combined. At this point, all multiplication has been completed, and we can now move on to the add and subtract. We now add and subtract or combine the 8 and the negative 15. Remember, with different signs, we subtract the two numbers giving us a 7, and we keep the sign of the larger number. Therefore, our answer is negative 7. Remember to write down PEMDAS on each question to ensure that you are doing the steps in the proper order. Example 2 gives us another opportunity to work with the order of operations. Once again, write PEMDAS down the side of your page to ensure you do not forget the order of steps. We first start with P, which is looking at if there's anything inside of parentheses. 7 minus 9 is inside the parentheses, which means we will get to the answer of negative 2. Remember, we have not actually used the parentheses and therefore must carry them down. We must also bring down the rest of the problem. We have now completed the P step of PEMDAS. Next, we have E. E stands for exponents, and therefore we look and find the exponents. As we see here, the negative and the 3 are not inside parentheses, and therefore only the 3 is repeated. This results in 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9, which is what is carried down. The rest of the problem is brought down exactly as it looks, including the negative that was out front of the 3 squared. We have now completed the E, or exponent, stage. We now move on to the MD, or multiply and divide. Remember that we do not do multiplying before division, but that we work from left to right. This means that we actually complete the division step first, because it is further left. 24 divided by 6 is 4. We then bring down the rest of the problem, as it has yet to be completed. We still have more multiply and divide in this problem, so we continue working left to right. We now multiply the 4 times the 2, resulting in an 8, bringing down the rest of the problem that has yet to be solved. Next, we finish the last multiplication. Remember, you can identify that it is multiplication because there is not a symbol between the number and the parenthesis. We have negative 9 times negative 2, which results in a positive 18. It is very important to bring the symbol down with the positive 18, as there is more to this problem. The 8 still has yet to be evaluated. We now are completed all of the multiply and divide portion, and we now may now move on to the add and subtract. We have 8 plus 18, which is now going to result in an answer of 26. Keep in mind when doing problems that include many operations that you must use the order of operations to determine which steps to complete first. Also remember the rules that apply to exponents in that if there are no parentheses around the negative, only the number is repeated. Also remember, multiply, divide, add, and subtract, go left to right. 